launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. game takes place here almost. Not really, but a lot of it. <laughs> Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade, 
Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Fears of an uncontrolled... 25. Cell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing... Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Shepard? The news said you were dead. 
What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. I'm working on a top secret project, mostly putting together a team and doing research right now. Sounds vague. No offense taken. I've been undercover enough to know how it goes. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I'd plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. This might be useful. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover It's so not long. so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, Partia likes fooling people. Part of me. me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rip and they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard.
I'm looking for the best tech upgrade to have. Of course. A Batarian trading group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim the Slayers I'm gonna have that asshole. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. <laughs> this is one of the funnier cameos in the series. You're really holding out on me? You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey. If you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? Uh, oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a Spectre working for the Council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for <laughs> training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races the humans. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days. If you... Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive. But my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare so off So you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of I my I just squad. say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on system. You were a hero. You say the galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. Why? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I don't have time for this, Burner. Get out of here. Oh, so that's how it is? Nobody can get the job. Poor little dumbass. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. I don't know fought. whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of sp you know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If you're a mother, they didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred. Shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rackham yeah, Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. <laughs> Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. 
What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharos. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a... And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar It's serving... better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari life. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything Just looking else. around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiates. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'd like to take care of We can't of wait place. too long. Eclipse will be tightening the net I'll do what I can to buy you some time. Let me know when you're ready. Charles Saracino, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance Parliament candidate, has pled guilty to tax evasion. He is in custody. A difficult in development for human expansion as the colony on Horizon has been attacked. The council has pledged to investigate the I need minimal heat in Greece. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Safe, too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of any Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Shepherd Scholarship has gone into effect, targeting low income children on Earth, where the most famous human. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Union has noted a correlation... Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more... No, I... Haven't had any luck yet. She... Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? 
We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. What are you doing here on Ilya? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pureblood. They're all like that. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the new contract. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. 
I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Nothing to declare? Move along. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charge? I'm telling you, relax. Thax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Clips, Mercs, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever... The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Now what's this? Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. We'd like to offer and a clarification of our sale. special report on Notorious Assassin, Thane Creos. While Ilium News did credit Thane Creos' legendary skill to his drill heritage, no offense to the drill community was intended. Ilium News does not encourage or tolerate prejudice against any sapient species and apologizes for any unintentional misstatements implying otherwise. Bad luck on the stock market? Debt piling up? Perhaps you need to explore other options. Talk to Indenture Tech to see if indentured servitude is the right career option for you. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. 
In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilia. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Nosastra has recently received an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Justicar calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview waiting out in the dark about what brought a Justicar to the fringes of a sorry space. Nevertheless, Ilium News is pleased to offer a special report. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after. No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity. Followed by a <sighs> Do you have anything flashier? <sighs> I want something that says. Hungry. Then I come to the fish dog food shack. Tasty fare and skewers are the somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while.
Boris Conrad Werner, who attempted to capture transient youths hitching a ride on the top of a bus. The would-be hero fell from the bus, struck several passing cars, and eventually fell into the power turbine of a biomass recycling facility. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> if this is the best you have. So much for Conrad do. Werner. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and the sorry physiology? Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sala Dantius didn't give us time to pass. I feel like there should have been one of these hacking terminals already. Light can be uncertain. That's why what the you F? need an Omnigel programming system. You have to leave them in order or what? The constructing single use equipment. I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who read labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. What the? Oh, Don't. Right. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. What the fuck, dude? I. Okay. <laughs> pure bloods are a waste dude, of genetic totally potential. That That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like your blood. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a battalion. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. The cliffs mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to Yeah, I think you do have to do these in order. Which is why we're going to be rich. Or are they all only in this area? I don't know, whatever. It's just, we're looking for weapons. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Maybe a shirt or a card. Helium. Hey, your blue eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding. Hey, we're friends. I have Should never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the... You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. <laughs> Does that answer my question, bro? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers. With if someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Good luck with the justify. Um, yeah, so I think you have to go back. I didn't mean... Okay, here. look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Are Forget you okay? it, do whatever you want. You seem touchy. It's not...
disgusting. You're making money off people's fear. Yes, I am. By the ship. All right. <sighs> Let's do it. Excellent. Another difficult development for human expansion as the colony on Horizon has been attacked. The Council of... Is that it? Or... Let's see. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or Okay, well, I mean, I've literally covered every square inch of that area, like, twice, but... for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I'll help you with the and figure out what options work for you. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point, danger. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough oh, for Eclipse? Okay. Yeah, I've got I'm not sure how I missed this. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for tech. First mate. Your father? What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use it. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you... You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous. Traverse. Everything's but is that sale. gate open you too wide? Investment it. think tanks are noting concerns that new technology... their jobs. Later today, we'll hear from survey teams talking about the latest technology you won't be able to live without. How much it will cost. Nosostra has recently received an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Jessicar calling herself Samara. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here. Is it a hundred million credits? But hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. 
I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything Thanks, else I can do. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. Be back later. Navacorp has been implicated in a massive financial scandal with authorities investigating Only 2000 his number credits. of trading irregularities. Navacorp has been increased. Let's do Miranda's loyalty mission. The Eclipse team is getting dangerously close to finding Miranda's sister. Are you ready to go? I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Um, we'll go with... It's weird that you can even change his weapon since, you know, he loves his old ass um, Avenger 1 or whatever. Gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <sighs> I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. So he's just chilling in the back seat, like not saying anything. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. I think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want the... <laughs> Straight up brace his neck. <laughs> oh, Enemies funny. in front! Here goes. 
I really hope the new Mass Effect is a completely redesigned movement system. Whatever ah. comes out. sure to check every square inch for items. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the... If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Can you tell me anything about the We'll be moving parts? through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need... And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you... Let's go find right. Niket. I just realized I meant to go back to the ship before this. To try to do some of the upgrades. I thought I'm gonna act this <laughs> in the middle of combat. Look 
Can load. I'll take it. Make activity. To this day, I have no idea what combat drones actually do besides Shield to fail. distract targets. Ah. Enemies in front. I, I love when they do the unnecessarily long screams. This is pretty Anyone decent else? once it's upgraded. Probably does physical damage, right? If it actually touches you. Overloading their systems. Divert everyone except my guard from the cat. I'll handle him and the kid personally. Damn it, I'm not letting her get Oriana.
Um, where was the? Here it is. This looks interesting. So that's all the upgrades for this mission. Just kind of like blows up on top of you. Deploying tech overload. I'm just staying right in front of that explosive thing. Nine o'clock. Drones like warping across the thing. So quickly. This should scramble their systems. The combat mechanics need to be completely overhauled in the next game. Because they're so fucking wonky. Like, this is the kind of stupid shit that happens constantly. You get thrown out of cover and you can't do anything about it.
Just try not hitting me directly through a fucking wall. How does that sound? Understood.
Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. <laughs> the other video is a... Or maybe it means something else. <laughs> Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn why on? Why does the elevator have a server? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change the more booking. effective on a weightless I'm sorry, okay. sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who Which knows. means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Uh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! We've been spotted. Show them what I clicked to do! Found that one! Hostile combat drone! <laughs> Can I fucking please? Thank you. Yeah. 
Bitch, come on, dude. Heads up, enemy drone. Fucking nerves, he should be dead by now. That was a Java? I don't know. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Yay, I did it! Without cheating. I think finally a mission that isn't completely broken on insanity. Sorry, I think. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her. Yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on. We should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. Okay. Let's go.
Why do I still not have enough points to do anything with? Try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Excuse me, but I found a locket with a picture of a human and someone who looks like you. Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize it. I'm gonna go back to the ship, I think, and try to do some of these. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue? Or have the Volus finally rolled to the top? And don't miss our look at the fashion photo and the cover of the to leave. I just wanted to go back onto the ship. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay. Uh, more to come, obviously, the entire rest of the game. That's it for now. 
I will be finishing the entire rest of the Legendary Edition, of course. Uh, these are uploaded every Monday. I typically throw about four of them up at a time just because there's so many quests in this game and they take forever on insanity. So um, I try to stagger them out throughout the morning, like usually starting at about eight central. Uh, so anyway, I'll be back for more of this. Peace.